Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to NP Station. Today we are going to be using Code Guppy to create our own little Christmas character in JavaScript. If you guys were looking for beginner JavaScript projects, this is the perfect playlist to start off with. As you can see, I have opened the JavaScript playlist on my YouTube channel. The first video is where I just give you guys an introduction to JavaScript itself using Code Guppy. We then draw a house in JavaScript and we we also um, create our own bouncing ball project in Code Guppy using JavaScript. And today we're going to be creating our own Christmas character. I will walk you through all of the lines of code so you will get a clear understanding of what we are coding on our computer. Now please do follow along with me in typing the code so you can create your own character as well. Now let's start coding in JavaScript. Alright guys, so as you can see, I've opened the Code Guppy homepage. Go ahead and do the same. Just open uh, whichever web browser you use, whether it is Firefox or Google Chrome. Go to CodeGuppy.com and here we're going to click on this green button which says Code Now. What this will do is create a new empty file for you to start coding. Alright, so let me just go ahead and tell you what character we are going to be creating today. To get into the holiday or Christmas spirit, we'll be creating our own snowman. So let's go ahead and name this file right over here at the top. We'll name it snowman so we know exactly what this project is doing. Alright, so let's start off with typing the code. Our first line of code will be to set a background color for our uh, image here. So make sure to put this hashtag symbol and I have a specific color um, on the side here which I really like and I want to use for this project. So those are the set of symbols and letters and numbers. So if you run this by clicking on the run button, it will print your output on this side of the screen. So you can see it prints or gives you this beautiful blue color. All right. So now we're done with the background. Let's move on to actually creating our character. So. Let's go ahead and start off with the body of our snowman. Very important thing that I want you guys to do is cr to create a comment. To do that in JavaScript, you're going to put two slashes and then you're going to type any uh, word you would like for your comment. So I have said here body and comments are super important, especially when you are typing uh, lengthy programs in, you know, when you're coding very long programs, because when you look back at your code, you want to know exactly what each line or paragraph of code is doing. So that's why we're going to give this comment of body. So we know exactly what these lines of code are going to be doing in our program. The first line is in this body um, code, we're going to say stroke. And here we're going to have another color. So we'll have this specific one that I have, uh, 335693. All right. And another thing unique to JavaScript is there's a semicolon at the end of most of the lines. So do not forget to do put the semicolon there. If you do forget, you don't have to worry. In this next line, um, I will show you what happens if you do forget a semicolon. So we'll have our stroke weight as one, but if I do not include that semicolon in code guppy, it will actually give us this little icon before or on that same line of code. If we hover our mouse over, it will say missing semicolon. So thanks to uh, code guppy, we are able to fix all of our errors. All right, the next line of code is we'll set a fill color for our the body of our snowman, which will be white. And then now let's actually put in the three circles. So we'll have uh, 400, 445, 126. So as you can see, we're using our circle function. So we're going to put this uh, two more times. The first value will stay the same. Next is 285, 99. The last circle function will have 400, 151, and then 68. All right, that looks good. Let's run this and see how it looks. Awesome, guys. So you can see that we have the body of our snowman printed on the right side of our screen. That looks great. Now let's move on to the next part in our code, which is let's go ahead and start coding the hands of our snowman. We'll start off with the right hand. So again, I'm making that comment. 
And next, we'll put in that stroke right here, and we'll have this um, specific color, 843C0C. Our next thing will be the stroke weight. And here, we'll have 10 in the parentheses. So this stroke weight is setting basically the, um, the thickness of our line. And now, for our hands, we're actually going to have four line functions. So the first one will have 604, 359, six, or sorry, 359, 495, and 291. And since we are going to do this three more times, I'll go ahead and copy paste this. There we go. Okay, and now let's change up these values a little bit. The first two values will stay the same. We'll have 607 and 378. The next one, let's move on, 627. This will be uh, 367. And our last line function, again, 627 and 355. All right, hopefully this works. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks like we got a runtime error. It says that stoke weights is not defined. It looks like that I spelled the word stroke wrong. So let's go ahead, put in that R, and run it again. Awesome, there we go. Now you can see that our right hand is placed on our snowman. Okay. And don't worry if you do get errors in your code. Mistakes is how you learn, okay? So just as you guys just saw, I got an error. Code Guppy told me there was um, that I spelled stroke weight wrong. I fixed it, and now the program works again. So everything is all right. Now let's move on to the left hand. Okay, so let's put in our stroke. Make sure I spelled that right. And here we'll have our um, specific color, which is 843. The same thing as before. 843. Looks like something's wrong. I forgot the double quotes. That's why it looked a little weird there. Now we fix that. Let's move on to the stroke weight. Okay. And here again, it will be 10. Awesome. So now let's move on to our line functions. Um, I'm going to go ahead, do that line, open parentheses. Here we'll have 225, 168, uh, 323, 265. Make sure to copy and paste this so you can be more efficient in typing your code. And now the first two values will stay the same. And our third will be 196 and 171. Next line, 201, 157. Oops. Okay, and now we'll have 216, 135. All right, finally we're done with that left hand. And there we go. So I wanted to, you know, do something a little bit different with the left hand so it's kind of waving to us. So that's why it's placed right over here and that looks awesome. All right, so now we're done with both of the hands of our snowman and it looks great so far. Let's move on to the face of our snowman. Let's start off with the eyes. Let me just put in a few here so you can see that properly. All right, again, create that comment. So I'm gonna say eyes. And now I'm gonna set a fill color, which will be black. So my snowman will have black eyes. Please feel free to make your snowman have any color eyes or hands or the body. You can create a different color as well. You don't have to do the exact same thing as I'm doing. Um, the next thing, we're going to actually set a no stroke for the, the eyes. And then we'll have two eyes. Hopefully your snowman has two eyes as well. We'll have 366, 124, and 10. And another circle function. Here we'll have 428, 124, and 10. Alright guys, let's run this. And there you go, we have our two eyes for our snowman. The next thing, let's go ahead and create the mouth. All right, so here, I'm actually gonna have uh, four different circles for our mouth buttons, basically. And then we'll have, that means four different circle functions. 
first one, 362, 179, and 6. Again, another one, 379, 197, and 6. And I could have copied and pasted this, but I didn't. That's okay. And then our last one will have... Oh, actually not our last one. We still need one more. 403, 201, 6... And then finally, now, we'll have 428, 199, and 6. Alright. Let's see how this looks. Awesome! So we have our four buttons for our uh, Mouth of our Snowman. You can see that it kind of looks a little bit off, but don't worry, we'll fix that in just a minute. When we added the nose, it'll all look much better. I kind of wanted it to have like a little slant to it, but we'll fix that very soon. Um, the next thing, instead of the nose, I'm actually going to go ahead and just do the buttons. So, we're going to have four buttons. So, four circle functions. Here we'll have 407, 267, and 10. Another circle. We'll have 407, 320, and 10. Third one, 407. 433.10 and our last last button will be 407 502 and 10 all right let's see awesome so now we have the four buttons for our snowman okay so the reason why I didn't put the nose uh, before the buttons there is because I just wanted the same fill color for all the eyes mouth and the buttons which is black and I don't want to have a black nose for our snowman because I want to put this little carrot nose, right? So now let's go ahead and do that. So we can actually change the fill color here, again, to um, this orange or yellowish shade. So I have a specific combination of letters and numbers here, which is that, FFC000. And now let's go ahead and put in the code for the carrot nose. So it's going to be a triangle shape. So we'll have a triangle function. And we have a lot of values here. So we'll have 397, 161, 401, 176, 483, and 146. A lot of values. But if you run this, you will get... Uh-oh, it looks like something went wrong here. You can actually see that the nose is there, except it is also a white. The color is white as well. So let me go see what I did wrong. So it looks like um, I just forgot the hashtag symbol for our fill function. So if you put that, now it will um, take this as a color. So if we do this again, there we go. It is all fixed. We have our beautiful carrot nose for our snowman. So that looks great, but we are missing one last thing. You got it. The hat of our snowman. All right, so this is the last thing we're actually gonna code, and we're gonna put in that last fill color here. Don't forget the hashtag symbol, and we'll have C55A11. All right, so that's gonna get us this orange color, and now I'm going to put in the triangle function. I'll have a triangle-shaped hat. We'll have 321, 125, 353, 39, 434, and 73. Awesome. Now let's run this. And there we go, guys. Congratulations. You created your own snowman in JavaScript using Code Guppy. This looks great. So amazing job. This is the perfect little character or coding project to do to get into the Christmas spirit. But that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to NP Station and give this video a big thumbs up. But that's all for today. Keep reading, keep coding, and stay safe and happy holidays.